Throughout the past two decades, video games have evolved at quite a rapid pace. One genre, however, has grown into its own. It all started in arcade stores. This is the fighting game. To the average observer, the fighting game looks like simple button mashing that's layered with quick actions and combos on screen. Whether it's Street Fighter, Dead or Alive, or even Super Smash Bros. But there's much more to it than just that. The fighting game first planted its seed in video game history with the fist fighting arcade game Heavyweight Champ in 1976. It wasn't until 1984's Karate Champ that the genre started to take root. What followed in arcade stores around the world was a slew of fist fighting games. Keep in mind though, arcades weren't just made up of fighting games. Street Fighter in 1987 had popularized hidden special attacks, while Street Fighter 2 in 1991 refined the fighting game into what we get today. The team behind Street Fighter 2 had developed the most accurate joystick and button scanning routine in the genre at the time. It also featured a bigger roster of playable characters, each with their own movesets that players were not yet accustomed to, which would be a keystone in future video games outside of the genre. What soon followed was a period of successful and long-running franchises that came from Japanese and American video game companies. A renaissance of sorts. But not all good things last. Arcades had become widely outdated with the growth of home console systems, and the genre had grown quite complex. Power Rangers, anime in the West, and handheld video games had grown to prominence in the 90s, but a sudden uncertainty had hit the fighting game. Just how much could this genre grow anymore? Uncertainty until the emergence and rise of major international fighting game tournaments, the emergence of new franchises, a slew of franchise crossovers, and the most successful crossover, Super Smash Bros. Brawl. In the late 2000s, things would change with the release of Street Fighter 4 in 2009. The game incorporated online multiplayer modes, which wasn't a first in video games, but it did have an impact. The console versions of the game along with Super Street Fighter 4 sold more than 6 million copies in total and revived the Street Fighter franchise. Tekken 6 would soon follow in 2010 along with many other successful titles that have increased consumer interest in fighting games. While the 90s had created a renaissance of the fighting games in arcades, modern consoles and PCs have given it more ample room to develop. This has been Closer Look, The Fighting Game Part 1. Tune in for Part 2 where we look into the mechanics that define the genre. Thank you for taking the time to like this video and subscribing to this channel. If you like the content we create on this channel, please look into supporting us through Patreon. Until next time, happy gaming.